Abby Careful versus the Despotic Silencer. Welcome to the fifth annual Neighborhood Pet Contest. The show will be getting underway very shortly. Hurry up! Hurry up! We'll make it! You can still sign your pet up for the competition. It's not too late. But look how cute he is! Are you really saying Fifi can't enter the contest? Now listen, I think it's great that your uncle works at the aquarium and I'm sure you have a splendid time playing with Fifi, but a whale is not a household pet. And what about Spit and Spot? They live in our house. Maybe so, but flies are not considered pets, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hello there, we're the Carefuls, and we want to register Lazy for the contest. There we are, Lazy will be contestant number five. If you just sit over there, he can take his place. I thought it won't work. Are you sure you'll be okay looking after Lazy? Of course I will, I'll be fine. Wonderful. In that case, we'll go and see if we can find some seats in the front row. Good luck. Good luck, Lazy. Attack her, Fang! You hear me? Attack! Only a heartless brute like you can mistreat an innocent animal! You're going to regret that! Treacherous tiger! Get out of here! Stay away from my princess! Do as I say! Stop that! Don't even think it! Don't you realise it's wrong to hurt animals? Then keep away from my princess. And you, stop licking your paws or I'll tie them together. I've already brushed you five times. This time we're going to win first prize and my name's not Gerald Jones. Yay! Hello, everybody. I'm delighted to welcome you all to our fifth annual Neighbourhood Pet Contest. And we'll start off with the talent round. That was fantastic! I'm going to give you a tuna flavoured cat treat, your favourite. And did you see Mum and Dad and Delphin cheering? <laughs> I'm really proud of you, Lazy. You're useless, huh? Cat. All those rehearsals and you blew it. There'll be no food for you until you can do it perfectly. You'll do what I say or it'll be the worst for you. If you won't obey me, you'll be in trouble. Stop that, sinister silencer. Why, she needs to be punished. I'm not going to stand by and let you treat a poor defenseless animal that way. She's mine and I'll treat her however I like. In that case, you have to meet Abby Kimball. You start interfering and you'll get the same medicine as her. You asked for this! I'll use the power of my mind to turn you into an animal so you can find out how they feel! Ah! And now prepare to be taught a lesson! Ah! This is what it's like to be bullied! It's not very nice, is it? Now for a wash with irritating shampoo! Then a high pressure rinse and a blast from the blow dryer! Let's see how you like being cooped up in a box! Attack of the suffocating sweater! Do you think there's enough space in there for a cat? Now you know how cats feel when you don't show them any kindness or consideration! Hmm? Where's the bully who's been playing all these practical jokes on me? Now I think about it, I bully you like that every single day. How could I be so horrible to you, princess? <coughs> it was wrong of me to treat you like a toy, but all that is going to change. We're going to go home right now and I'll give you a bowl of wool to play with for as long as you like. Are you Lazy's owner? Yes! Oh, wow! Did we win the talent round? No, but you came second. And our winner is this young man in his extraordinary fish. Never in all my years judging pet shows have I seen such a startlingly original performance. This fish is a star. Well done, Lazy. You won the second prize. Although I want you to know for us, you'll always be number one. A 
And remember, if you have pets, they're just like members of your family. So treating them with love and respect is very important. You heard it from me. I